Hey, what's up, you guys? Today I'm going to introduce you to the Multiplayer Metaverse Pack, a complete Metaverse application for Unity and Photon. It's a multiplayer project too. You can create here multiplayer games with this asset if you prefer. So let's check out this asset. We have a documentation. We have a, a demo. You can try it. Follow the link on description. We have the demo here on each I/O. You can try and test the application. So let's check it out. You can create server. All right. You can choose the map you if you want. Max players. You can create private rooms. You can create a lot of feature here. You can find servers created by, by by another users here. You can choose the avatars. You can choose two characters. Also, you can modify these characters to your own characters if you prefer. Here, you can find provide homes here, and you can create your own name character name here. Let's create a server to check out this. Uh, just create a, just one player. All right, we have a, a complete environment here. You have two environments. This is one of them. So let's. Walk. You can you use a uh, Unity standard assets, so you can jump. Anything you want, you can do here. You can chat with another players. You can check out another online users. It's a complete asset to you try. Let's check it out. Okay, I get out. Um, I show you the documentation. You have all uh, our steps here. Uh, it's very easy to do. You have our steps. You can start developing your our multiplayer game or metaverse with Proton Pond Two. Uh, I describe all the steps here. It's very easy to to read and to use this. All right. Also, we have an, our Discord server. I hear uh, a lot of time here. To help you, also you can send me you can send me an email to I answer you how fast I can. So let's check out the project, the Unity project here. This is a Python project. I use uh, some package additionality here. I use a started assets. You can you can import this, and also you have a Python of course. We use a Python. We have the two scenes here, the lobby scene, this lobby scene, where we have the some methods here, some functions. We have a lobby canvas here, with all the the UIs of our application. We have the lobby room, main panel. We have a lot of screen here, uh, main panel, create room panel, lobby room shoot create a lot of screens here. Let's check out the scripts. I, we can check out the scripts here. We have the lobby manager. The lobby manager manages all the the UIs of uh, the game of Metaverse. There it is the lobby manager scripts. You don't need modify the script. It's all complete here. We have a lot of variables. Some method interesting methods here. We have U, UI callbacks from Ponto, Photo. For example, we have the unconnected callback, unconnected to message callback, configured here, unjoined lobby, on life lobby we we not use here, get rooms to get our rooms of our application, on whom list update, whom received, a lot of other methods here, create your home where you can create your home with your name and a random number here with your room options the photon functions with map here so the this script is complete you 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 don't need to modify this all right also we have the gaming uh i just save here we have the game scene too the game scene where if you uh, where the metaverse are the metaverse is power here we have the game manager the game manager manages the AI characters, our characters, network characters, uh, maps, 
É, the game, it's the brain of fabrication is the game manager. Let's check it out this script here. So we have some methods here. We have um, here. We have the spawn map to spawn our metaverse or our map spawn player to spawn our player and network players, remote players, spawn AI characters to. We have the main methods here to works with our metaverse. Here, for example, we spawn the player in the game. We spawn the camera. Here we have an index here to choose random points to spawn player. And here we spawn play player using photo network instantiate here. All right, this is very uh, very useful. Also, you have to spawn AI character using instantiated scene object to synchronize the AI character to all players in game. This AI character is its sync on the scene for the all player. Also, you have the spawn map method here to spawn a uh, map. We have two maps in this in this assets here in prefabs folder maps. We have this map. Focus on aliens, space, and NASA. Here, we have this map here, and another map here. This is another map uh, inspired in Street Fighter, Street Fighter 6. I I like this this area to players um, interact with yourselves. So we have the two maps here. So this is main features of the game. Uh, also, I describe here the the all features, uh, technical details. You you have the, my full support. Um, we have the full network sync with Python 2. Chest. We have the text, chat text, and rooms. Game lab system. Complete complete map selection system. System. Complete room creation system. Included private rooms. Characters control integrated, Unity character control integrated, character shows choice system, amazing 3D interiors of convention center and mod. Uh, easy to read and send the code, how code is commented, interactive network AI NPCs, interactive objects, and much more. You can create uh, your metaverse to any application Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, iOS. WebGL, so it's a complete uh, application we have here. So let's check out uh, some features here. Let's test the game here. Let's test the rooms. I created the four stands here to test. All right, let's create a server here. Max player two. I choose this default map. Create home. Great. Let's create another server here. In this time, I choose another map here. To two players, create home. Great. All right. Let's join to these rooms. So I go to the find server servers and choose this this one. We have a one player and one server created with this map here. Let's join. And here. We find servers, we choose this, uh, this, uh, this one, and join. Alright, here we spawn the player. Alright, full synchronization works very fine. Alright, low latency, very nice, works very well. In this part, we have the another map here so we have two different homes with two different maps it's amazing with Python you can create a, a lot of application using this it's very interesting here oh I closed the, the another instance so I I really want to show this I Hope you enjoy with this. Thank you and see you in the next time. Goodbye, kiddo.